All right, YouTube, listen up. Off-Road Yo-Yo here with another Yo-Yo review. Today, we'll be taking a look at a recent release from Yo-Yo Factory. And when I say recent release, I'm gonna put it in air quotes because it's not really a recent release because it hasn't been released yet. It actually came out as part of a mystery box done in conjunction with Yo-Yo Expert. That mystery box was number four in their series of mystery boxes, and this one included one bimetal yo-yo and one plastic prototype yo-yo. Today, we'll be taking a look at the bimetal yo-yo, and it looks like this, and it's called the Marco. And I don't really like it all that much. Whoa, 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 hold on, let's talk about this. First and foremost, I want to clear up any conclusions that you may have just jumped to. The first one is that my opinion of this yo-yo has nothing to do with the fact that it's made by Yo-Yo Factory. I happen to like Yo-Yo Factory yo-yos. I own an Edge, and I think it's fantastic. I've owned a Bimetal Superstar, same story. That yo-yo is great. I've also owned a Nightmare, which happens to be on a very short list of yo-yos that I have sold and miss. That was my first bimetal yo-yo, and I learned a lot of tricks on it, and it was great. It made cool sounds when you threw it around, and it just played well. I have nothing against yo-yo factory yo-yos. I think they're great, I think the company is great, I'm all on board. I just don't like this one. Okay, with that out of the way, we can dive right in to all the reasons why I don't like this yo-yo. It's a little awkward for me, because I've never really felt that way about a yo-yo I received before. I generally kind of like them all, because I kind of believe that most yo-yos are really good. By the time a yo-yo has reached my hands, it's gone through the hands and minds of a lot of people who know a lot more about yo-yos and who are much better at yo-yoing than I am. The odds of me getting one that's bad is kind of slim to none. And this one is not bad. Let's be clear about that as well. I just don't like it. So let's dive into the reasons why I don't like this yo-yo. We'll start off with the color. Ugh, I, I, I hate the color of this yo-yo. I don't know why anybody would make a yo-yo this color. Now, purely subjective, clearly. Speaking of clearly, not clear. It's more of a weird silver color. It makes me think of C-3PO having gotten food poisoning and washing up on a beach. That kind of baked over silvery gross color. And that's not even very likely if you think about it. I mean, one, C-3PO is a robot, so he's not eating anything. And second, C-3PO is a robot. He wouldn't wash up anywhere. He'd sink straight to the bottom. And third, well, if you haven't noticed, Star Wars is kind of a bigot when it comes to ecosystems. They've got a planet that is entirely desert, entirely water, entirely snow, entirely swamp. They don't like to mix them up very often. One movie did, though, Rogue One. Rogue One had a beach, and it was a glamorous beach. Well, up until that big danger ball blew it up. But until then, wonderful beach. And by the way, Rogue One is clearly the best Star Wars movie. Empire Strikes Back can kiss my... As you can see, the Marco is a bimetal yo-yo. Oh, you can't really see that, can you? Because of the gross color, the rim and the body of the yo-yo are almost the same. They kind of blend together and really take away the cool factor. They don't seem on there very good. They hang off on the edge here. You can kind of catch them with your finger. And I think they're sharp. Check it out. This is a carrot. And you can cut the carrot with this rim. That lip is on there. It hangs off just enough. You can cut chunks of carrot off with it. What if this was your baby's carrot? Now, one thing that the color of this yo-yo does have going for it is that if you're ever stranded in the Australian outback, you can totally use it to signal for help. Just reflect the sun up into the air and someone will see it and come and find you. Heck, I bet this space station would see you signaling for help, and that's good news. Just be careful not to blind your rescuers as they come in to pick you up, because if you blind them, they're gonna crash too, and then you're all gonna need help. And the chances are, there's only gonna be one Marco to go around, so you're gonna have to take turns signaling someone else. Eventually, the space station is gonna think that you're just crying wolf, and they're gonna stop sending people. Hopefully, you brought enough food to go around, but I bet you didn't. But if you did bring carrots, you can make yourself a nice house salad. This is also a very light yo-yo. So when I'm feeling the lightness and looking at the color of it, it reminds me of something very specific. And that's 
plastic silverware that is colored to look like real silverware. Have you ever gone to a wedding or a party and you saw these things sit next to your plate and you thought, ooh, fancy, and then you picked it up and you almost hit yourself in the face because it's light and cheap? Yeah, that's what this yo-yo strikes me as, fake metal silverware. By the way, this fake metal plastic silverware cuts the carrot uh, almost as good as the yo-yo cuts it. The Marco has a very aggressive Venus, which I'm okay with. There's a lot of yo-yos that I really enjoy that have a very aggressive Venus. The G2 Warthog, huge Venus. The SF Bliss, man, the Bliss's Venus is all up in your face and I'm okay with it. This Venus, I'm also okay with. So with all these just holding it aesthetics out of the way, such as the color, the feel, the shape, and the weight, how does it actually play? The Marco is a signature yo-yo of Polo Garb Kamol, which I'm sure I just totally pronounced wrong, and for that, I'm sorry. But let's talk about the yo-yo and not my linguistic ignorance. This yo-yo is very competition-oriented, which you can tell from the bimetal design, aggressive V-shape, and incredible lightweightness. In the right hands, such as Polo's, I'm sure this thing can totally slay. In my hands, however, eh, it does all right. As a player, I actually really enjoy it. Despite how much I hate the way it looks, I did carry it over and over for several consecutive days and enjoyed my time with it. It moves through tricks as good as any other yo-yo for me, and it's very, very, very nimble, very stable, and I'll, I'll admit it, it's fun. Rest assured that even though I'm messing up most of my tricks, the essentials are all there. Hardcore pinwheel, check. Fiery hot queege, check. Let's do a boingy test. How's boingy working today? Boingy's not bad, hey. I'm doing the thing, I'm doing the boingy thing. So overall, when I factor in how much I enjoy playing with this yo-yo compared to how much I dislike looking at this yo-yo, the lesson for me is to stay away from mystery boxes. Clearly the look and feel is a very important thing for me, and this just was a huge turnoff from the moment I opened the box. Had I gotten one of the solid blues or blacks or reds, or even that beautiful splash I've seen, I would have been a lot happier. But that's not Yo-Yo Factory's fault, and that's not Yo-Yo Expert's fault. That's my fault for having an opinion. One interesting thing to note though, in the marketing images that Yo-Yo Factory has been posting on Instagram about the upcoming drop of the Marco, this color combination is not among the Yo-Yos pictured. So either it just didn't make it in the shot, or Yo-Yo Factory agrees with me that this combination is gross. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. That really helps us out and encourages us to do more. If you don't like this video because I was kind of mean, that's fair too, and the thumbs down is there for you to click. It's a free country, do what you want. One final note in closing is that I do not want to discourage anyone from picking up a Marco if you think it's a yo-yo you'll enjoy. It's a perfectly fine yo-yo and it plays great. I just happen to not like mine, but different strokes for different folks. Thanks. <laughs> so mean. This is so mean. I'm being mean. I don't know. I can't help it.